So in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the intersections on the calculator. I'm starting with the problem on page 29. Um, so our system is y equals 4x minus 5 and 2x squared minus 5x minus 10 is our second equation. So first off, I press graph just to have a look at what's going on. I can see that there's an intersection here and there's one up here too. So I'm actually going to make the y max and y min a little bigger and smaller um, just so I can see the full graph. 15 might be fine. Um, actually, I can tell it's fine by the answers we already got algebraically, um, but I'm going to do 20 just so I can see it a little better. So the process for getting the intersection is similar to zeros and maximum and minimums. Um, you need to go to the second trace, which is calc menu, and choose number five. Now, when I look at this, I have two graphs. So the first thing I want to do is pick my graphs. It says first curve. I look at my cursor. It's on the line. So I press enter. It jumps down to the parabola. Yes, I do want to intersect the parabola. So I press enter again. And then I just move it to my guess and I press enter. When I see the word intersection, that tells me I have found the intersection. So if you look at your packet, one of the answers was indeed negative one half negative seven, so that's one of the intersections. Now, a little bit more about that first curve, second curve. If I put some other equations on here, like if I added a third one, and I go to second trace intersect, my calculator won't know which two of these three lines it wants to intersect. Um, so I have to make sure, like if I wanna intersect the black and the red one, then I have to press up, choose the black one and choose the red one as my second curve. Now that's never a problem for us really because we only usually graph two things at a time. So if you just press enter, enter on first curve, second curve, you'll be fine. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that black line. Sometimes people need to know what those are and I understand that because I'd probably be the same way. So that's what those questions are about. Now I have another intersection, so I have to go back to find the other intersection, just like I have to do in, uh, zeros twice to find both zeros. I can press enter, enter, same two lines. If I don't get closer to this intersection versus this intersection, it's just gonna find the same intersection again. So I'm gonna guess close to my intersection, but ultimately I just need to be closer to this one than the other one and it will find it correctly. So my other intersection is 515. That's what I wanted, so I'm done with this problem. So I'm gonna also do one on the next page. So if you flip over to page 30, I am going to do letter B. So this is exercise 3B. This was where we started out with the equation, two to the X equals negative three X um, plus eight. So I'm gonna graph two to the X I'm gonna do negative three X plus eight as my second one. Remember we graph both sides of that one variable equation. Um, I'm gonna go back to zoom six because I messed with my window last time and this will bring me back to the normal window. Now looking at this, if the red line went this way, I could have two answers, but I can see that with the shape of these graphs, there's only one answer. The window looks good, I can see the intersection. So I'm gonna go to second calc intersect Remember, it doesn't matter with first curve and second curve as long as you only have two y equals, enter, enter. Guess actually doesn't matter here either because there's only one spot to find. So this is 1.6 comma 3.1, which is what we found in the other video that doesn't show the calculator. Remember, this equation does not have y's to start out, so the answer is just 1.6 to the nearest tenth. 